If the voting was done on a blockchain, would we have the answer already? Warriors, the narrative is here. Think about that. If voting was done on a blockchain, would we have the answer right now? My name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. I want you to think about that. What do you believe in your heart right now is going on? And what narrative are you believing? Because that is going to equal your physical reality. But I'm just here to share information with you to get you to critically think. That's all I'm getting you to do. I'm teaching economics so you can make informed decisions, not by just following a narrative, but listening, doing your research, not listening to a word I say, but doing your research and understanding you have all this stuff that I'm doing available to you as well. So today I'm here to talk about the voter fraud and blockchain, right? So there's a big narrative going on right now that there's voter fraud. I don't know what's right or what's wrong, and nor am I here to tell you what's right or what's wrong. I have my political views, and I'm not going to share them because it doesn't matter. I'm not here to sell you a narrative on my political views or to believe like me. What I'm here to do is take a 30,000-foot overview and take a look at the landscape and what's been happening within the past year. Okay, Think about this. So Kobe Bryant tragically died. That was horrible. We're all focused on Kobe Bryant. We're sending these tick, uh, messages, TikToks, everything's going out there, and then boom, everybody forgets about that. Not they forget about Kobe Bryant, but everybody all of a sudden goes towards the pandemic and C-word. That's all you saw in the post. All of a sudden, within seven to eight months, your whole life has changed dramatically. You're using your phone to do everything. Your banks close, and you can go through the drive-thru, and you have to set an appointment to go into your bank. It's hard to go in and do transactions. There was a coin shortage. Hmm. You're now doing everything off of your phone. You're working from Zoom. I've done more Zoom meetings in the last 10 months than I've done in my whole life. Your kids are now home, being homeschooled through a computer. You had to become a teacher. You're ordering your food through a phone. You're ordering your taxi through a phone. Hmm. If you look onto your bank account, you see Digital wallets. Start using the digital wallet. Load your credit cards onto this digital wallet for your safety, for convenience. Narrative, narrative, narrative. Now, here we are. Voter fraud. Voter fraud. Family, we are moving to the new quantum financial system. We are moving to the new fourth industrial revolution. I just want to show you the new narrative that's here. And I want you to start connecting the dots for yourself. And I want you to ask yourself a question. If you had and you knew, you had the knowledge and you knew that there's a biggest shift in, why do they keep saying there's a biggest shift in generational wealth happening right now? Because those who have ears to hear understand that we're moving to a new quantum financial system, a new blockchain that's already created warriors. So there's all these things happening that's getting you used to the solution, problem, reaction, solution. So I'm just here to give you information, verify the resources, Debunk this. Do whatever you want. Comment below. Share your information. Comment positive, negative, whatever you think. I'm just here to get you to critically think and ask yourself, where would you invest your future, your money? And could you create generational wealth if you had the answer and you knew the game? You could play it. So here we go, Warriors. All right. So the narrative you're hearing right now is voter fraud, voter fraud, voter fraud. So if the U.S. voted with the blockchain, we'd already know the election winner. Look at these ladies here with their vote thing, right? We are moving, think about this, we are operating on the SWIFT system, which is an old archaic uh, system of monetary. That's how you move your money around the world. So when you go do a wire transfer at a bank to Germany, it goes through the SWIFT system up through multiple currencies back down into Germany. So if you were to do a wire transfer through the SWIFT system, you were to pay a certain amount, a good amount to send that wire, right? That creates a risk for the bank because they have to have that on deposit or liquidity to support that $5 million wire transfer going across this old archaic system. The FBI, I don't know if it's narrative, but said it's been frauded almost, don't quote me on this, but I think it's 16% of the time it's been uh, broken into or frauded. Okay, But if we move to a new blockchain system that moves at the speed of light where you can move money through currencies without an exchange, well, it would be an exchange, I guess, but it would be within seconds, so you're hitting that exchange rate, for pennies on the dollar, hmm, would you want to move to a blockchain? Of course you would. That's where we're heading for the new financial system. Okay. Then you're going to be ordering food off of your phone. Everything's going to be done off a digital wallet. You're going to walk into a store just like China, and you're just going to show your phone with a QR code. That's it. 
It's going to be very hard to fraud because companies like B-Chain are creating amazing fraud protection systems. When you buy Jordans now, eventually in the future, you're going to have a, a scanning code on there. You can scan it. You can see where it went from beginning all the way to end. We're moving to a system where everything is monitored, everything is monitored, everything is monitored, everything is monitored. So if you knew the game, how would you play differently? Now, the new narrative is the pandemic shuts you down. You're in your house, okay? You're shut down. You're in your house. You're, you're now operating off a Zoom call. You're operating off your phone. Everything's done off your phone, okay? We're going to get locked down again. People are going to get sick again. I'm not saying the pandemic's not real. I'm not saying people are not. I'm just here to open up your mind. And now we have a huge narrative within our society of voter fraud within America. So listen to this. A blockchain voting system would have relieved the next U.S. president within or would reveal the next U.S. president within minutes and left no room for allegations. Key takeaways. The U.S. election is being contested over allegations that the mail-in ballots, old archaic system, weren't counted correctly. Think about that. You went from sending letters to emails. You didn't question that. We're now going to move from mail-in ballots to a blockchain. We're moving there, guys. This is the narrative. We're moving there. Okay? Blockchain systems are transparent and tamper-proof with no counting errors. I'm not saying Democrat or Republican. I'm telling you where we're heading in the narrative that you're hearing. The election was open dialogue on, on use cases for blockchain voting. Major commentators in the crypto space remind that the U.S. election would have already been done and uh, dust or done and dusted off if the country had used a blockchain technology to count the votes. Okay, Ethereum co-founder um, agreed that also, uh, although cautioned that such system would come with significant technical challenges. Many such systems are already in development. Okay, so let me show you this real quick. There's already systems in development introducing the Vote Chain Explorer. Okay, the Vote Chain Explorer is a blockchain guaranteed universal access to election ledger. But what, uh, but what about cryptocurrency verifying the results? The most secure method, which places no trust in any party, is to run our own gateway node and manually inspect the contents of each vote transaction. In high-stakes elections, some third parties will likely do this. But if only blockchain experts can verify an election, it's not really universal verified. Okay? To solve this problem, we developed Vote Chain, a simple, easy to use web application which empowers voters and third parties to interface with the Vote Chain at a higher level. It enables anyone to view and verify the controls of blockchain data. Let me show you what it looks like. You got your blocks, you got your transactions, you have your entities, processes, vote envelopes, validators and stats. It's already built, Warriors. It's already built. I'm not saying this is what we're going to use, vote chain, go invest in this or whatever it is. I'm trying to see who they're connected to. I was hoping they were connected to B-Chain. But you hear the narrative. It's all over. CNN's talking about debunking Trump, that it's not a fraud. Fox is saying that it is a fraud. I don't know what the answer is, Warriors, but what I'm telling you is is this is all moving us to the new quantum financial decision. And I'll continue to say to you, if you knew the game, you could never be played. Think about that. Kobe Bryant tragically died, and we're all looking this way. We're all posting, and boom, the whole shift, shift to the C word, the pandemic. We all get locked down. Our lives change dramatically. We go out and buy toilet paper. We go out and buy toilet paper. Again, right now as we sit, all the shelves are becoming empty of toilet paper. Such an interesting dynamic. We're buying toilet paper, but we're not investing in a new quantum financial system. <laughs> think, about, think about where our freedom is, warriors. It's not in our dome. Our freedom is out here. We're relying on somebody else for our freedom. So I'm just here to get you to critically think. I'm a warrior coach. I have a warrior academy. And how you can get involved is click the link down below. Join our free global Facebook group. We go live every single day. Kevin and I go live every single day just to share knowledge and information for, for, to you. Excuse me. Not here to get you to think like us. What we're here to get you to do is understand that freedom comes from the uncommon 1% by taking control of your mind. So as you move into the new quantum financial system, as you move into the new blockchain, you still need to protect your mind because everything's going to be coming fast and furious. And if you can't protect this, you will never have freedom more. So remember, there's always a narrative being sold. I'm sharing with you a narrative right now. Is it right? I don't know. You need to decide. I'm just here to inform you that there's a much bigger picture. Warriors, rise.